Hello, this is Helicopter John. I just wanted to show you the uh, new speed controller I put on my ShopBot router. This is what they call a Super PID version 2. And uh, I'm going to show you how this thing works. First thing we're going to do is turn on the 5 volt uh, uh, power supply that, that can either come from your computer if you're running it uh, with Mach 3, etc. Or if you're, uh, if you're not running on Mach 3, you just need to get a wall wart that uh, puts out uh, 5 volts uh, DC regulated. Now it's going to go through the boot up process. And it's now sitting in uh, spindle view. If I turn this pot all the way over, now it's in pot view. And you can verify that the potentiometer is working as it should for controlling the speed. And we'll turn it back to the, the lowest RPM range. The, uh, the Super PID will allow you to go from um, 5,000 RPM, which is the lowest RPM, all the way to uh, whatever the maximum speed on the router is. We're going to turn the, the router on now. It's running about 5,000. Now we'll turn the, the pot. I also put a, a heat sink on the Super PID, which you can see there, and uh, also put a little uh, fan on it, which is available from the people that, uh, that sell the uh, Super PID. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty uh, simple installation. I uh, had to put a uh, an RPM sensor on on both the routers. I have actually two routers. I have a, a Porter Cable 7518 and a Makita uh, RF1101 router. And I installed the uh, uh, RPM sensors on both of them, and they both work fine. It's a great product. If you have a a router if you'd like to uh, lower the speed on this is a uh, an ideal product and that's how we do it at helicopterjohn.com